Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of the Power Slide podcast. Today, uh, I'm doing the intro, Maxi, and not Dimi. And the reason why is because it's time for the Central European Rally Preview, aka my home rally. But worry not, today I'm joined by Dimi. Hello. Silva. Hello. And Zeno. Hello. So, it's uh, a new rally on the calendar, and it's basically a kind of combination of a few national rallies, which means it's a completely new itinerary uh, in the rallying world. And um, before I start my half-hour solo run, I would ask the other boys what are their thoughts do they look at the itinerary at the roads at the routes and what their thoughts are uh, uh, <laughs> uh, the first super special is one of the worst super specials i've ever seen <laughs> oh. <laughs> well that's right is this uh, a uh, reference to uh, that one article you put out a few weeks ago? Two articles. Two uh, articles. Yeah. I don't I know. Do Seems like a pretty Andy. good one to me. Silver. Are you blind? <laughs> no. It has gravel. But, yeah, you it know, looks the fun. Problem is... Let's not start another What is round. fun to you? <laughs> Crazy SSS. Very fun. For those that don't know Silver, he loves super special stages, and I'm guessing because he hasn't, I'm, I don't think he's read the the post we did with Andy. <laughs> uh, my top I ten did. are our ten worst super special. He probably finds excellent. So yeah, I mean, some uh, of them look pretty cool. Do you see what Point I mean? Proven. <laughs> Point proven. <laughs> Point proven. Uh, um, there's quite. Friday to Saturday and Sunday are way different stages. Uh, Friday are more fast, more bumpy. There's a, like the words are the, the words yes, this to me. The roads are more worn. They're more bumpy. They're more fast. Whereas in, um, in Germany and Austria, they're a bit more like junction. Very smooth. It's a bit, resu- a bit reminiscent of Saarland in Germany, Rally Germany, let's say, I think. Yeah, I, I would say it's more closer to Rally Ypres, to be fair, from like the field stages or the roads that go through open fields. Fair enough, That's actually. It reminded me of. Fair enough, actually. I'd say there's a bit of Ypres as well. Yeah, um, the rally goes through, or at least from what I've heard, I saw a video of Walter Röhr, uh, talking about the uh, route himself, and he did say that a lot of the stages go through uh, many villages, actually. Yes, I think I've seen I've seen some. There's a YouTube channel that has done recce of some stages. I haven't seen any competitive because I'm tired to say, okay, go to that point in the video and you will see the actual stage. I don't like that. I just watch the full stage and the the recce thing. I put it to two speed and he goes vroom vroom in the stage. You know, <laughs> I I like the Czech stages more. Than I like some of the German and Austrian ones. I, th- I found find them a bit interesting, perhaps a bit dangerous because some might be a bit too fast with like a tree in the middle of the way. Some are a bit too narrow, but we'll see. Yeah, I think the check stages are just a, look a bit more interesting as a, a bit more drama could happen on them because of how bumpy they are in some places and. Uh, there are some, or in some cases, you could see actually grass uh, growing in the middle of the road. Yes. Yes. I thought that was gravel at first, but it's not. It's just um, very shitty tarmac. <laughs> <laughs> and the, I think there are some, like, very few gravel sections just connecting roads. Like in the Three Star de Rally, when we saw when it rained last year, it was just a mud fest. Yeah. It's actually based on that rally as well. So Yes, it is. That's why I'm mentioning it. 
the three star rally for those that don't know is not a candidate event let's say an expanded event central european rally sorry is an expanded event of the three star rally which is the three state rally to say yeah. it in english yeah and it's a staple rally in german rallying and it was always part of the german rally championship so it's kind of funny to see it not be on the calendar this year because of central european rally yeah i'm not I'm, i don't know why it's not included in any of the what i would do if i was either uh the german rallying adduck basically and the czech whatever they they're called i would put day one counts for the czech championship day two counts for the german championship I mean, it's it's a no-brainer, yet they haven't done that, so we get less entries. No, I think it should be uh, Friday and Saturday should count for the national championships because for three days, I think, or for such an extended uh, event, you need an, a different license, an international license. And Friday, I, don't, I don't think that... Uh, Friday and Saturday, though, it might be a bit too many kilometers because it would be like 250. And the normal rally in Germany is half of that, I think. Um, I don't know. Wait, let let me check. Uh... Aha, check. <laughs> Jimmy, <laughs> God, no, God's no. sake. <laughs> uh, yeah, one hundred thirty-five kilometers mm. usually. So my one, yeah, one thirty, one forty-two actually. So yes, Ada, if you're listening to this, you've missed out. Again, the entirety yeah. of our back. Oh, oh, we we go way back. Mm. Oh yeah, I could I could have a full on rant about the Central European Rally because even though it looks like a fun rally, why it was chosen is a bit scandalous, and I don't like the reason why. To sum it up, in three words, Bavarian belly rubbers, and we'll exactly exactly no we'll Bava- Bavarian nationalists. That's oh, um, no, oh, oh, oh. Um, no, no, um, no, 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 it's, it's, um, it is the way it is. They are Bavarian nationalists. They have their HQ in Bavaria, and they said, we need a rally here. The same with the WRC promoter. That's why it's in Bavaria. Because they also have their HQ in there. Bavarian belly rubbers. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, I would the like other, to say... Yes, go on. Yeah, the, the, the other option was, put the rally near the Nürburgring and have like a Rally Germany-esque, like a classic Rally Germany-esque rally. Yes. But I think like, one yeah. of the few stages missing, I don't know if it was Panzerplatte that was, that would have gone missing or some of the country roads like Freisen or something. Take me home. No, 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 Timmy. <laughs> Contain yourself. <laughs> Stop. Could you imagine Rally Germany? Held in the Nurburgring with yes. Schutzleife yes. as the power stage. Yes, uh, yes, because that's what happened back in the day. I think. No, that was Kornauweiler. No, yeah, I think Rally Germany was back in the day when it first started, based around um the Nurburgring. Give me one second. I will fuck check you. Mm-hmm. Or at least that's what uh, I got. Uh, 1981. It was based in. Oh, it was. No, let's go to a more yeah, year. 1991. Where was it based? Nurburgring. So Max is right. Yeah. So it would have been a back to the roots type of event with an area that is usually very pro rallying or pro motorsport, and now you go to Bavaria. Uh, 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 um, with a lot of radical Christians. And we're off the air in. Bavaria. I don't care, actually. There's no radical oh, Christians. They're gone. <laughs> Who cares? Oh, Jesus Christ. Why is but everyone. I be- but, but I accept it because now uh, people in Czech. Are getting a rally. Why yeah. is everyone in Germany a radical cultist? Um, it, it really uh, the Bavarians, where you live. the Christians. <laughs> What's up? 
in Jutland, they're um, uh, in Kiel. What are they like? Radical fishermen. What? Yes. <laughs> Fishing <laughs> isn't the radical fisher, fisherman with an alcohol problem. Okay, That's... I thought we said <laughs> no. we should stop. I Maybe. thought we said we'd stop at Bavarian belly rubbers. Maybe but this has gone Maybe. far too long. Maybe there. I as a I as a German am allowed to make those jokes. Maybe they're a fan of Helena Fischer. Stop. Uh, <laughs> can we kick him? Can, can we make like a second voice chat and just kick the <laughs> over for me? <laughs> can we? Okay. Can I say something? Yes. Uh, this was, uh, I saw someone sent something in the Discord we're in. Um, circuit of Klatovi, that's actually the second stage of the rally, mm -hmm. used to be a bike circuit. Like yes, people, bicycle yeah, or people. motorbike? Motorbike, obviously. <laughs> motorbike speedway. Yeah, because uh, isn't that the stage with gravel or something? No, that's the second oh. stage where it's 2.2 laps. Uh, it's very famous in the Czech... Um, oh. rallying community the the stage was a, a former motorbike uh, circuit that was closed down I don't, I, I don't remember the year but there was a fatal accident mm. and they stopped it it's quite cool to see I didn't know yeah. that his thought it was just like uh, stage but now that it has a background and a history I'm quite actually, I'm looking forward to it from what I've seen it could be a bit like a Saint Vandal type of stage, WSC 2002 to 2006. So, eh, okay, good SSS. It's not like a Mickey Mouse do donut. Mm, like hey, what's one. wrong with <laughs> what's wrong with donuts? Same question. Zeno, your no, donuts, <laughs> your donuts are offensive. Uh, that requires a bit of background that we will not give to you. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, do you Estonians uh, have any thoughts on the itinerary or? Uh, it looks cool to me. Uh, I like the SSSs. Um, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the, I I really liked Dreistetter Rally when it was a thing, and uh, I'm very excited to see this as uh, a WRC event. And uh, yes, uh, I want to see it already, please. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. yeah, I mean, the uh, variation between uh, days seems interesting. Uh, yeah. In the scenery, basically. Yeah. Ooh. Which. I think is something that this rally should really put their focus on. Like you have three countries. Those three countries do have some different country sites, I hope. And they Dimi, make use did of you it. Just say Uwu. Yes. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Dimi, you're unhinged today. You have nice scenery. Yay. I love how Dimi is the unhinged one, even though what I said like 10 minutes earlier about various parts of Germany. Yeah. <laughs> I, I will reserve judgment until after the rally. I am looking forward to it because I like that type of event. But my worry is that this might be a bit too similar to Croatia. No, I wouldn't no. say so. No. And it looks a bit too different to Croatia. I would have it. preferred if this was held in the place it was usually held. Ah, thank you. I mean, yeah. Yeah. In that is... Zala, not Zaland. I don't like them. Uh, not I. I'm not a. I'm not the biggest fan of Panzerplatte, but I am a big eh? fan of the vi vineyard stages. Wow. What's wrong with Panzerplatte? Nothing. I just prefer the vineyard stages. Fezish. Because Panzerplatte is just like, haha, concrete, ha, left, ha, right. But oop, Hinkelstein, I mean, you die. Yeah, your, your history with concrete. Uh, <laughs> not too surprised. As a civil engineer, I am contractually obligated to say what you're saying is false. Uh, I have passed that course with a 7.5 out of 10, which is an adequate uh, mark. And we shall now continue. All right, with so you would be. Can I, can, I so you more, would, can I give one more? You can uh, give one more, Maxi, because one, it's one you more. who runs the show. Today. I want a one remark. One more info. One more info is we might get a night stage. Or it's. Hmm. 
Well, yeah. Pretty close. It's uh, one stage starts at 6 p.m. And currently, as of recording right now, we have 7 p.m. And if I look out the window, it's fucking dark. So, w won't the time change next weekend? Uh, oh, time, so yeah, we will have a night stage. Time, Yay! St time stage, time change mid rally would be really funny. Yeah. Don't you? Do you remember that one time uh, the twenty four hour of Spa was supposed to happen um, uh. at the time where it, it switched time and it was going to be the twenty five <laughs> hours of Spa, <laughs> but they canned it. Oh. Hold on, let, let, me, let me check. Um, uh -huh, check. The... <laughs> <laughs> I, wa I was going to just let this slide, but I, I'm going to say it now because you are being ridiculous. Oh, no, um, we might not get it. I don't know. I'm confused. It, it's a, it mm. takes a bit too many brain cells for me. Jimmy. to. Let's not uh, get bogged so down. So you would be perfectly yes. happy to sit on a concrete Hinkelstein and look, be counting the rally cars for hours. Uh, no, we will yeah. get the night stage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the enthusiasm in his voice. Yes, because because night fair, stages night are fucking stage are awesome. Exactly, night especially for someone cool. who goes to the rally like me. Oh, okay. rem remember that was a bit unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we went to a rally as well. Yes, I, you I three went, went to a yeah. rally. I didn't. Now it's my time. Yes. Anyway, um, Tire. entry list. Uh, yes. There has been a change. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, our oh, our favorite crash-prone Frenchman, Pierre-Louis Loubet, has uh, sacked his uh, co-driver, Thier uh, Thierry oh, yeah. Yes, that's not his co-driver. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because he's a moron. That's the best way I can put it. Yeah. And he has replaced him with Benjamin Veya, who uh, was uh, Sebastian Ogier's co-driver before uh, uh, Ogier nicked uh, Vincent Lande yes. from Lube. Yeah, be well, basically also because Veya actually doesn't really like being in the like spotlight. Well, as far as, as far he's as about I know. to be. Well, he's about to be, and he was with Ogier for a bit, but uh, as far as I know... It's a bit less of a spotlight well, now. Well, yeah, as far as the I know... The only spotlight they're going to get is for when Deadfish interviews them after the mm -hmm. crash. Mm -hmm. As far as <laughs> I know. If they, can find, if they can find him. That's... If they can find him, because that one time in Portugal they can't find him. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you can check code. out... Uh, <laughs> Jimmy's video. On no, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> if, if, if you crack the Da Vinci Code, you also crack how uh, Lube crashed in Portugal. Yeah, that's what I found out. There's zero hours. No one knows. Just yeah. He just disappeared. Yeah. He became a magician. Yes, he did. <laughs> he turned the car into carbon fiber. Carbon oh. fiber. So, that entry list. <laughs> <laughs> um, apart from that, we have uh, Gregor Munster for a second time. Oh. Belly rubbing, I guess. Um, then, then we have Temu Suninen uh, in the third Hyundai for some reason. Uh, okay. I'd have put in Soda if I'm honest for this event and then Suninen in Japan, but. Uh. Suninen does not have the best history with Tarmac. Yes, I was saying this as well. And when I, I when I say the best history with Tarmac, I mean he was so bad at Tarmac that Emsport employed uh, uh, Brian Bouffier for uh, 2018 <laughs> in Monte Carlo and Cor Corsica until they realized Brian Bouffier is also very bad. <laughs> so let's get some... <laughs> yes. I will give something to Suninen. He had a very good first three splits in Monte Carlo 2021. <laughs> yes, and we get back to the point where being fast is of new use if you crash. Okay, I mean, we will not I talk about Suninen anymore to prevent uh, our. As long soon runs. as I say anything. I have one thing to say about Suninen. Yeah. I sort of get why uh, Hyundai wants to put Suninen in. Yeah. Uh, He's if, gaining uh, experience. I mean, basically, yeah. Uh, 
like if the rumors are true and Sordo is well mm-hmm. on his way out, then it makes sense to have Sunin in, in there to well gain experience. After we finish huh? with the boring entry list, we will talk about the boring. Dimi, there's a DS3 R5 in boring. it. I know. And it's still boring? I'm not fast. It's there's just RGT. rallying there's us. RGTs. I'm not, I'm not too fast about RGTs. Yeah, because you're not a man reasons. of culture. But an Abath 124 Rally RGT is I a I would rare like side. to mention that there's a Rally 4 with a Kazakhstani bear, and there's also an R5 with a Taiwanese bear, but that's, that's about it. Yes. There are not a lot of German drivers. That's what I figured. It's a bit sad. Or I'm a bit sad. But one of those but Germans is Ami Kremer. Like. And there's also Albert Armin! von Thorne on taxes. Armin! Yes. Go get because a Armin yes. now has once again a chance for the WRC Masters title. Go get no, a go get a picture with him. He did say that on his Facebook account that his I don't chances think he does. are still there because he does. Wait, let let me. I'll go oh. out there. <laughs> okay, ask okay, Max. No, no, uh, no, he is forty three points behind Villanueva. He has to do both. He has to do Japan as well, which uh, yeah. Villanova did not score any points. So let's continue. Uh, out of the Toyotas, Kali Rovambera, Elfin Evans, Sebastian Ogier, and Takamoto Katsuta. Mm. Who do you think has a bigger chance of winning this event? Ogier. Well, it's not Katsuta. Yeah, I wouldn't say so either. But also, he should be good on tarmac because mm-hmm. he used to do yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> I will go insane if that is mentioned again. Yeah, he he well, does not have any redeeming characteristics on tarmac which show that he ever did circuit racing. He does not get to wear a medal of a circuit racer. Or a tarmac Silver, specialist. He, Silver, calm down. He's just uh, gaining experience. That's, oh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> All right. In fairness, I said Ogier, but in fairness, uh, the road will likely get really dirty after a couple cars have passed through, so Roman Pera probably has a decent chance if he doesn't pin it. Yeah. Especially if it's not... If, especially if it's wet. Yeah. If it's wet, it gets m- the muddy, tires basically. are done. <laughs> we will have a tire. similar situation Not to tire. Croatia 2022. Like I can, I can write my name on a piece of paper and sign it and send it to Pirelli. This <laughs> will happen. <laughs> this is a Dimitris Theodoro guarantee. Where's the button? Guarantee. Anyway, speaking of the weather, what is the weather like? Ah, uh, it's difficult to see. Check now. Uh, Maxi, uh, it looks Moscow. like it's going to rain. No, oh, it's going boom. to r- apparently from right now, one week before, mm-hmm. rain in the service park area. Okay. Mm. Yeah. In that case, That's chaos. Well. Yeah, there, it, I, 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 I am expecting a chaos. I could, I can see, I can see to 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 put it into perspective how much chaos I'm expecting. I could see Munster getting sixth. Mm. Uh, that's not that long of a shot. Puma. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Munster. if he finishes, then sixth is not that hard, I'd say. I was about to say I, Munster yeah. is a is a reason why he might not get sixth, but he's not said that he no. is a bit quicker also, than him. Yeah, Munster. Uh, yeah, was he, decent he's on his debut. So then the WRC two cars. Yes, yeah. he is. He was decent on his debut, and he's probably better yeah. on tarmac. So. Yeah. Yeah. And he he's could... also done rallies in the Czech Republic and Germany. Yeah. yeah. He could actually have he, a decent run. He also did Yana decent. rally. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. Uh, yeah. What else? Uh, I mean, he was excluded for illegal tires on Yana. Yes, yes. <laughs> because he did, do the, he, he did tire cuts. Oh, I see. Uh, he wanted to make Pirelli's work, basically. It was Michelin's. No, Pirelli. Oh, okay, fair is actually. Uh, so, we still have a championship on our hands. If Elfin Evans manages to outscore Kaler of Ambera by two points, the championship goes to the Japan. Wow. 
Will he do that? No. No. Probably not. Uh, Unless will, Scarlett Rowan Do address. I want him to do that? Yes. yes. I mean, yeah, of course. There are Finnish people listening to us, uh, Zener, that would suggest <laughs> otherwise. In fairness, I have picked Elfin ahead of Kalle. And on that bombshell, it's time to go to Hyundai. Mm -hmm. uh, not Hyundai. We, we've talked about Sunin, so we will talk about uh, Thierry Newville and uh, Sopek Alapi. Mm -hmm. Can I, can I, can I uh, unleash my inner journalist? Yes. Go on. Uh, You're in a David Evans. I said journalist. <laughs> <laughs> Luke Barry. Luke. <laughs> Colin Clark. I Colin Clark has said he's not a journalist, he's a presenter. Ah, okay, um, <laughs> He's a journalist. Uh, you're a, you're the Lawrence Barretta of WRC. Just checks EWRC and says, Ah, start, write article. Perfect. <laughs> ah, yes. Suninen, worst driver WRC this year. Uh, <laughs> on the eve of Oit Tanak signing... Hyundai are faced with a difficult round in the Central European Rally. You have to get Oitanak in there to get the Estonian clicks. <laughs> Did he get your click? Former Estonian team looks ahead to the next rally. What? <laughs> For... yeah. Okay. Former... Uh, Newville can win this, but he has an equal chance of winning it. Yes. Yeah. Or what do you mean equal chance? as usual, basically, an equal chance. Like I'd say, it's, as, oh. it's as likely that he will crash as it are is. You, to are you sure it's equal? Well, the chances are different depending on if he leads the first and second day. Yeah, the if chances, he no, if, if he leads on Friday, he will bin it. I am saying that right now. Yes, in Acropolis, if he, he was on from Saturday, Friday. He will yeah, that's usually <laughs> what happens. If he leads on Friday, he crashes. The Hyundai in Acropolis, he was leading from Friday, but then the Hyundai saw a pothole and decided, I'm no longer suspension. <laughs> I will no longer suspend. Suspension said adios. adios. <laughs> I will not suspend this bump. <laughs> <laughs> I will suspend <laughs> your rally. Me. Yes. Esape Kalapi is not good on Tama. Nope. Hyundai is going to be shit this rally. Honestly, Newell is their only savior. And he could crash. So basically, yes. it's so, a high chance Hyundai could score nothing this round. Uh, no. Uh, it is no. possible. No. Uh, power stage points, at least. Yeah, okay, they can, it's possible they will all not finish within the top 10. No. Yes. No. no. Lappy hasn't crashed on Tom, Mike. Yeah. Okay. Lappy can finish like Rock. fifth. Rock. Suninen will finish Croatia, like seventh. Rock. Dimmy, Dimmy, Dimmy. Yes, I am the Dimmy. Breaking news. Oh. For more, we'll do Japan instead of Lubei. Oh, oh what? Oh. Mid podcast. Yes. Hold on. Where did you see that? Is it on Instagram. Instagram. Official okay. WRC. What? Hmm. That is seven minutes ago. Well, then, we're going to have. On that bombshell. <laughs> Um, um, give us one second and we will come into that. I have to, I have to repeat have... something. <laughs> <laughs> well um, then. Well then. Um, well, let's uh, let's finish with Hyundai and we'll get to M Spot quickly. Oh, Hyundai. <laughs> oh, we finish with Hyundai. M Spot. Uh, I, ha I have. I have a. Uh, I have. I have a quote to read. I'm not sure who it's from, but I'm assuming it's um, Milner. Uh, Adrian and Alex should be well suited to the tight technical tarmac roads that the event has to offer, and we look forward to seeing how they can perform back in Rally 1 machinery. The French pairing will substitute for Pierre-Louis Loubet. Following Rally Greece, a joint decision was made between Pierre and the team that Rally Central Europe would be his last event for the season. This extended break will allow Pierre to concentrate fully on getting everything needed in place to ensure that he lines up in Monte Carlo at the start of the 2024 season. Huh. That's oh. interesting. So I think the lineup is actually going to be for Mo and Lubé. Well, I wouldn't be that Why? sure. Uh, the, the chances are high because why would they I put heard, for Mo for the I final heard. rally? 
Uh, well, Fumo is guaranteed the seat next year. I think yeah. it's. I heard. I will not reveal my sources that Gus Greensmith could be within a shadow of an M Sport seat next season. Oh yeah, uh, that's, that's not happening. Yeah, yeah. That's not happening. How do you know, Silver? No chance in hell. If he so, wins the WRC two title. Uh, mm. Does he have a real silver? Job? Silver, I have a source. I have a good source. You haven't seen it probably, but there is a good source. <laughs> what source? But I, I can't tell you. <laughs> uh -huh, We're okay. on there. Actually, I'll send it in general. Hold on. Now it's Chinese Bangladesh news. What? what? Oh. Mate. <laughs> it's the it's the Mate. Italian media. No, no, it's Finnish media. Ah, Iltasanomat. No, fucker, <laughs> I will send it to you now. Shut up. <laughs> Tim, okay, no, okay. personally. Tech general. Don't say, Don't it, say what it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Does that make a bit more sense now? Yeah. <laughs> yep, all right, all right. <laughs> I shall... Yes. <laughs> I apologize <laughs> for <laughs> doubting your sources. <laughs> I see you are personal friends with this source. <laughs> this is the best podcast ever. <laughs> um, right, M Sport. Tanak. Fifth? Sixth? I don't fucking care. <laughs> I, know, I, will, I, I, don't, will I don't know oh, what's no, happening no. anymore. They pull my Poma. shit on Tarmac. In Croatia, they couldn't get any. Like, the car was overheating. The tires were overheating. The car was shit. But Tanak, on, but Tanak near German roads is... I don't know what happened. Or at least the last three times Rally Germany was actually a damn rally. He fucking won it, even though he hates that surface. Um, And I know the Puma is a bit worse year. than... A bit fair. worse than the 2019 Toyota, yeah. <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> yeah. Just a tad. Yes, the but I have hopes. I have hopes that Tanak would I don't. actually do something. I, I don't think he cares now that he signed a contract with someone else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lube! <laughs> Who cares at this point? <laughs> um, Lube will oh, be in this rally. I don't, I don't know, man. Like, honestly, he's... Um, when he when he binned off uh, Gilles Soul, that was a very because he blamed him from the Chile crash and they had differences. That was a shitty move to do. That was a very shitty move to do when someone is more experienced and more successful than you and you treat him like that. You can't blame your co driver for every crash you had, especially when some are very, very, very dumb. Like, for example, Portugal won. For example, Mexico twice. Just saying. For some, sometimes you have to own up to your own misdeeds, let's say, and carry on and try to improve yourself. But you can't have Lube all the time. Oh, make mistake. Mm -hmm. Also, Lube is literally wrong. Uh, Jilson called the right note. He did call the right note. My little French could say that he said that what? No, sorry, exactly. what? Go ah, yeah. yes. Go straight. I think he had, instead of uh, hearing go straight, he said at what? Is a gauche or a Anyway, let's not get put down with my French. Let's go to WRC2. Mm -hmm. um, Johan Rossell. Mikkelsen, Mikkelsen's first. Okay, first, Mikkelsen. Mikkelsen could win the title, I think. I think he's the favorite because he, if he does Japan as well, he's won the title guaranteed, I think. Do we know if he is doing Japan? I do not know if he's doing Japan. Uh, wait, do they have... How, how many rallies do did they have? Six or seven? He, has, he can do two rallies. That's why I'm asking. He can do Japan. Yeah. Was it six then or seven? To do Japan. Was it six or seven, seven rallies? Seven. You can seven, seven, that seven. Okay. seven and the yeah. six count. Then he's doing... Yeah, yeah he's doing Japan. Um, I think he can... Tarmac isn't his bestest of surfaces. He's okay. He's like... One of one of his atomic drives that strikes to mind is uh, Germany 2017, where he finished second in the C3. That was cool. Um, but yeah, I think he can win this. 
Brussel. Um, he's good on tarmac and nothing else really. <laughs> ah, <laughs> on, slow honestly, gravel as well on occasion. Not not, not that much. He's no. not consistently good. Yeah, on occasion. On a, I'm good at maths on occasion. <laughs> I would hope you're good at maths all the time, considering what you're studying. Anyway. <laughs> Um, uh, I don't have any much to say. He could win this as well, but I think he can't win the title, really. Mm -hmm. Greensmith is not that good on tarmac. Yeah. I say not that good, I mean, at all. Uh, <laughs> he stage win in Monty. Yeah, forget about that for a bit. Um, I don't it think was one have... of the greatest moments in recent rally history. Was it now? I agree. <laughs> Seb below I mean, winning. I was happy. Yeah. I said one, not the. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I think Grandma. the best thing to ever happen to rallying in recent times was uh, me going past the uh, Lube's car, going on road mode in the national highway, on my way to the Livadia stage. I did not know that. Us, ta us taking pictures with Armin Kremer was a bit more significant, I would say. Well. Yeah, fair actually. No, Payer is not ended for WSC2, so we yeah, shall yeah. ignore him. For more, we will mention that the Ford, the Fiesta Rally 2 has been upgraded. Oh, I, if only for him. <laughs> well, for who Probably. else? <laughs> Hank who else Wasson. is doing it in a Fiesta Rally 2? Hank no Wasson. one. <laughs> Uh, Hank Vossen, who's and Christian Alkofer. Yep, whatever. So he he has good pace on uh, tarmac. He could win the RC2 class, maybe. Who knows? Grazin crash on the second stage. Let's move <laughs> on. Kajetanovic, he's no longer a player. Let's say, if you know mm. what I mean. He's he's more of an ERC driver, not the WRC2 mm. driver. He's a WRC masters guy, so. No, 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 no. He couldn't stack bad the overseas rallies this time, so he's not a player. Lindholm, not good on tarmac. Finland. Marcic, he did well in Hungary, but I'm not too interested in talking about him. Gloria Yuna crashed in the pre-event test. Lina May will crash in the actual rally. Uh Eric, Eric Sice, Sice could be will good. win the first three stages and then retire. Oh. That's what happens. Oh. Uh, Makelian broke his suspension in the Super Special in Hungary. Fabricius Aldivar. Uh, Alejandro Cachon. <laughs> <Piquez. Nicolas Yamen. laughs> no Nicolas comment Yamen. whatsoever. Nicolas Yamen is doing it in a Skoda Fabi RS rally too and he was very, very good in Croatia in the Volkswagen Polo before he decided to flip it, which is not something I'd recommend. <laughs> Rupert Gorfonen is also doing his uh, WRC debut in an R5 car, driving a Skoda Fabia Rally 2 Evo. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will mention Simon Wagner. Two more, two more drivers, yep. One is Simon Wagner, who is from Austria and has been doing a lot of ERC. ERC. Mm -hmm. And Adam Brejic, who is very good on the Czech Championship. And uh, Armin Kramer is Armin Kramer. So that's the entry board. list. So let's go and talk about the driver market for a tad little bit. Mm -hmm. There's been a uh, twist. There's been a twist. Testicular torsion, some would say. <laughs> that's how big of a twist it was. <laughs> um, so um, well, I, you see, that's the weird thing. Testicular torsion. <laughs> I don't think that's weird. Oh, bloody Yuna won't do Central European Rally because his car was too damaged from the pre-event test Who? crash, I think. Bloody Yuna. Ah, okay. Ah. So, another breaking news coming to you from the Power Slide podcast, which you're listening on never, probably, but... that's On funny. Apple TV, uh-huh. What? On, on, the, on the Amazon Fire Stick. On Netflix. Uh, yeah. So, on your nearest Walkman. Honestly. <laughs> um, <laughs> on your nearest iPod Shuffle. So from, what I, from what I'm gathering is that Formo is guaranteed... Well, obviously, I don't think I have to mention that Ford 
well, not for the M Sport, we'll have two cars next season. And the one that Monster decides to, I want to drive that one now, please. Please, uh, you're done. Let's not mention Do you think him. he won't do a full season? No, I don't think he'll do a full season. Mm. So who will do the rallies he's not doing? No one. No one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh... So, for more is guaranteed. I think the second seat is between Greensmith and Lube. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. They say that he's going to be with us for Monty 2024, but he says he has to put everything in place to be in Monty 2024, so he might not have enough funding to do. So, from what I am understanding is... The first choice is Lube, and the second one is Greensmith. Interesting. Rather controversially, I don't think any of the two deserves another chance. Have you seen the rumors about Chris Meek? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking shut up. They're absolutely, now. absolutely now. ridiculous. But... Yeah, it's just, it's just, oh, I might bring back Raleigh Wales GB in it. Chris Meek in the Puma, I'll be minging in it. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want Chris Meek in the vicinity of a Rally One car. <laughs> I don't think he wants that either. He yes. knows something will go wrong. Yes, but he win four Rally out of six Portuguese championship. The Michael, Portuguese shut up. championship. <laughs> the Portuguesers are not that great. <laughs> That's like saying Ronaldo's great because he scored a gold in the Saudi Arabian League. <laughs> 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 Anyway, I'm sorry, Chris Mick. I, yes. I'd like to see him do a one-off. I think we'd Would all you? like to see him do... Yeah. He crashed. Like he him wouldn't be that the... interesting. <laughs> okay, but until he crashed, he'd, he'd have done a spin and he'd do stuff. But he'd get a fast split, he's not, maybe. He's not crash. Francois Duval. And exactly. That thing need to say. No, no, he'd no. do Fun stuff. Silver. He's a demo swimming with actual skill. Okay, uh, so, uh, Hyundai fourth car, uh, bad news, it might not happen. Mm. <gasps> Do you think so? Yes. Yes. You think, There's rumors that it so might not happen. So you think Lappi and Sunina will be sharing a car? Ah, that's where I think that that's not going to happen. Because, no, because mm. recent, didn't Lappi recently say he was happy with his current contract? No. No? He said he has a deal. Oh. Uh, an upcoming deal, and he's happy with it. Hmm. There's rumors that he could return to Toyota, sharing ah, the third okay. car with Ogier. Hmm. But also, I'm not sure if he would be happy about a half. But... I uh, he, he, if if they don't get a fourth car, he's doing a part-time season with Suninen or Sodo. Mm-hmm. So it's a matter of where you feel more comfortable in Toyota or in Hyundai. But even if the fourth car materializes, we have some, um, what's it called? Different uh, scenarios. One scenario is that Soda retires and uh, Lapi does the full season in the third car and uh, Sunnen does half a season in the, in, the, in the I-20 and the Lindholm does some rallies in the I-20 as well. Mm-hmm. WRC, obviously. I'm not talking about R5. Uh, the other scenario is that Soto doesn't retire and uh, <sighs> Suninen does the rallies that uh, Soto doesn't do in the third car, in the, in the fourth car, sorry, in the fourth car. Lapi does the rally, Soto does in the fourth car, and that's the sort of ordeal. Mm. The other scenario is that everyone just rotates. And the other one is that there is no third car, and uh, you have Lapi and Sodo sharing, and Sunin, no. So yeah, that's it. I hope we have a fourth car. I really do. Yeah, I really hope so as well. So, yeah. And we shall now end the pod with... Pickems. The new calendar. No. <laughs> The new calendar has been released. Uh, yeah, but that's not ending. We also need to do the predictions. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's not very nice. <laughs> oh, I was not that expecting was that. Predictions? Is that not what you... <laughs> mm-hmm. Would you care to share yours? Uh, the new calendar. I don't like it very much. No. 
Three I rallies in a like row. Of... Bro. Three rallies in like a row. Poland. Stop, 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 stop. I don't like Poland. I don't like Latvia. Especially like them back to back. I like Poland. I don't like Latvia. You like? You're a bit biased. No, never. I, I don't think there's really much to say. Um, uh, um, Mexico will... was replaced. Shut up, Zener, you're interrupting me. Uh, <laughs> Mexico was replaced by no. Yes, Mexico was replaced by Poland. Latvia replaced Estonia. You go, Zener. I will say I think they have uh, slightly forgotten about tarmac. Yes, they have, unfortunately. There's three rally. Yes, and the last two are back to back, so it's mm. no. But random Twitter user and Discord users be saying, "But running is is a skill of driving on gravel." Okay, Grandpa. <laughs> Tom, That's what they said. Hip, yo. <laughs> <laughs> it's too boring. It's not Grand Prix racing. I shut the fuck up. Um, is tarmac Vogue? Uh, uh, let's continue. Uh, there's also <laughs> been smoke, and I'm communist. Give tarmac. There's, there's, there's also been shut up. There's also been potential rumors about uh, potential uh, rally format, new rally format, because. They want to make the events more compact and um, yeah, so we could see less kilometers, but we could also see the abandon of the clover leaf, like the leaf uh, format, which is three stages, then the three the same three stages again, back to the service park. Uh, there's also been uh, rumors about the the re the reintroduction of uh, remote services, something that Acropolis has been doing. And it's great, by the way. You get to see more stages. Um, I would be in favor of uh, remote services being back. Yes. I would also be in favor... If we get 280 kilometer rallies, it wouldn't be that big of a deal if we got more unique stages. That's all I'll say. For me, anyway. Yeah. And also, they want to do something with Sunday that I don't know what they're going to do exactly. So, we'll have to wait and see because Sundays right now are just... Hi, we're just waiting till the power stage. Yeah, uh -huh. basically. And also, there was rumors about a potential return to the COVID format so that the event is shortened. No, no. 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 Not in terms of kilometers. Well, it might be in terms of kilometers. Actually. Of how else? Can someone fire the bald head that is currently running the WRC promoter? No, unfortunately, the German. <laughs> Today, Maxi realized he also German. Not very good, Maxi. <laughs> yeah, no. To, to, from today, Maxi identifies only Polish. Sometimes I do do that. <laughs> Um, and I on that bombshell, oh, it's on. time to do. Okay, go on, Zanny Wenny. <laughs> there are two good things to take away from this calendar. Yeah. No Saudi and no US. And no stop. I'd like to see USA more than I would like to see Rally Lipia. Latvia yeah. will be diabolically bad. Yes. Yeah. I will give him the benefit of the doubt and I will say they're horrible after the rally. There will be like no one at the stages. Martin yeah. Sex. Ah, Only Martin, Martin Sex. Sex. Martin Sex will do the rally in a Puma. Really? Is that confirmed? Yeah. yeah. It's like nice. Confirmed. It's 75% nice. confirmed. They were doing PowerPoint presentation <laughs> they were showing Sex in a Puma. Okay. Oh. No. Has ah. to be official then. George Russell approach to getting a Puma seat. Right, let's do the pickums. Right. Zanar, a uh, question. Yes. I don't care, just to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, fifth, uh, Katsuta. Hold on, you. <laughs> <laughs> Double hold on. How is yeah. Katsuta in the top five? Um, you stop. Toyota. Okay, yeah, Cir go on. Circuit racing experience. Uh, anyways. Oh, monster. 
<laughs> punk juice no, will also update. be a feature. I'd like to say, uh, consider punk juice on your predictions. You know. Uh, um, yeah, so, so uh, Lappi fourth. Mm-hmm. Uh, Evans third. Mm-hmm. Rova Ampera second. Mm-hmm. And um, well, Auger yeah, first. What happened in Uvo? Died <laughs> in a tree. Probably. What happened? In... What happened to Tanak? Puma. Puma. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we shall continue with our next Estonian. Oh, I see. Uh, how about WRC two? <laughs> how about yes, Egon Gosling? <laughs> um, okay, we will skip WRC two. No, no, no. We do RC4 and I just called out the no, driver. No, I don't know RC4. Amy. Okay, okay, okay. Did you say RC Mont bots? Go on, Zener. Right, so uh, I've gone with uh, third Russell, second Greensmith, and first Mickelson. Wow. Boring. Boring. Second Gus and first Mickelson. Mm hmm. I did not uh, put much thought into those. Oh, so, oh, I did. No, go on, Silver is done. Fifth. Oi, Tanak. Mm. Uh, fourth. Bold. Kale Rovampera. That's actually bold. Third. Yeah. Elvin, Sorry, Elvin Evans. Mm-hmm. Second. Sebastian Ogier. First. Terry Neuvel. Respectable. Uh, uh, go on. Sure. WRC two. Third. Yeah. Eric. Eric size. No. <laughs> no. He's got. He's going to touch. Uh, Czech Republic land. He's not going <laughs> to finish. He's not going to see the stage end. <laughs> he's not going to see the speaking end. Speaking of. of he's speaking not, uh, of not yeah, seeing Friday. the stage end. Second. Nikolai Grazin. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you said you put thought into it. I did. Yeah. That's why it's, that's why it's <laughs> is, not... Is, is, is uh, Siamen going to be in first? No, first is Johan Russell. It, it's, sorry, it's the top three, not the bottom Shut three. Shut up. <laughs> Johan Russell would not be last. Maxi. Okay, so Go fifth on. for me was Calero Vampera. Wow. Calero... <laughs> Fourth is Elfin Evans. Third yeah. is Oitanak. Second, yeah. Sebastian Auger. And first is Thierry Neuville. Oh. Oh, love the, I love that we're doing, These are very we're doing the group, bold, actually. group jinxing. Then, if you haven't realized, Silver does not like Thierry Neuville. Last time uh, I put Thierry Neuville in first, he didn't finish. So I will do it until... I'm gonna put fucking Tanak in first, you can't. Just sure. to spite you. Sure. Doesn't change anything. <laughs> Go on. Watch him win. Maximilian. Uh, then WRC two third Johan Rossell, mm-hmm. second Gus Greensmith, and first Andreas Minkelsen. That's an inspiring. Honorable mention for the more wins, the Rally Two class. There's no such thing as a Rally Two class. I just there want to say RC2. this. RC two. I just Sorry. want to say this for. The Oliver Solberg won, <laughs> but he won. Why didn't he uh, get we the point? We forgot to mention, guys. Oliver Solberg is doing the Reiki for this rally. Oh, anyway, no. anyway, um, <laughs> Demi, would you care to give us your predictions? Yeah, I'm. I, I, as a, as a, as a law, I don't think of those. I just see the entry list and they mm-hmm. say, "Ah, tire, let's mm-hmm. do this." Dale, mm-hmm. as as no. Mister Three Hundred Five would so. say. <laughs> <laughs> Please go on. No. <laughs> ah, Dale. first Dale, OG. Second, you first OG. Yeah. Okay. Third, Kale. Mm-hmm. Fourth, Evans, fifth, Tanak. Hmm. Bold. No, I'm not. I have here. Uh, Rossell. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> this is... 
second who would be second let's 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 take a step back and think of this albert won tour on taxis well it has to be mickelson uh oh, mickelson okay it is indeed mickelson we should mention that gus greensmith won his first ever rally overall last uh, week because he won a rally in the Czech Republic which I don't remember the name of I'm sorry Gus Greensmith has he never and won in... a rally overall nope never huh. wow uh and in third I'm gonna put I'm I'm beat I, I'm uh, uh, oh, yeah. I'm gonna go for a bold choice mm-hmm. see I'm in. oh mm-hmm. you know why he hasn't won a rally overall why? Why? Zevi Pons. What? Ah! <laughs> the fucking cunt! <laughs> he did the rally. He did. He did rally <laughs> Fafe, whatever the fuck that was, and there was snow. Viera there was Dominio. snow, and Pons knew it. Pons <laughs> knew it, and said, "How can I ruin Dimitris's year again? Let me come back. Let me come back and gain fifty seconds on the first three stages." Ah <laughs> Are you all right? No. No. <laughs> Does TV sound like a perfectly healthy, <laughs> mentally healthy man right now? No. If you're Chevy Pons, I would like to tell you that you did not deserve the 2006 Citroen drive, and you driving with Actually, the number one car. Dimmy. Shut up, Silver. Shut Dimmy. up. Dimmy. You driving Dimmy. with the number okay. one car next to your name is one of the worst memories I've ever had of my childhood. Yes, did, Silver. Did we count a rally sprint, which is 69 kilometers? Uh-huh, nice. Because anyway, and he on that won that. Show. No, no, no. He won that <laughs> last week overall. Silver. Ahead of Brezik. Silver. Mm-hmm. What did I say exactly? He hasn't won a rally overall. Take the marmalade that you put on your toast out of your ears and put them on your toast instead. Because what no. I said, what I said was this was his first ever rally win overall. Something that you did not hear. That's what the music. Ah, ah, oh. Sorry. <laughs> it's a continuing circle of Silver not paying any attention whatsoever to anything we say, and then saying, "Ah, you're sorry, wrong." Sorry, I fully, <laughs> fully forgot that you said that he won something overall. I only fixated on the bit where he hasn't won a rally overall. And on that bombshell, <laughs> it's time to end the episode. Maxi, you do the outro as well. I decided it now. Okay, uh, 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 follow us on Twitter uh, at PowerSlidePod, I think, mm-hmm. or on x.com. No, be, no, no, just, just search PowerSlide Podcast and you'll see me doing uh, yes. generic tweets that get likes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somehow. No, they do, all of them do. Uh, read our bl- blog post or Dimmy's blog post. Do that. Uh, yeah. There, then, there will be an article by me uh, in the week before Central European Rally. It's about Estonian wow. cheese and how that has also, affected rallying. <laughs> <laughs> you may also, sure. uh, viewers, listeners, you may add comments whether you would like an article about Estonian karting tracks. That's not rallying. It's yeah, considering some of the tracks, it's almost rallying. Go on. Well. Maxi, like racing, I'll try to ignore yeah. the Estonians. <laughs> <laughs> so no, follow, us on, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, if someone of us would actually care to finally run the account again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that account has been dead since, since Croatia. Follow us on I found Vine. It, I found it scandalous. There was a post about JRC having us as hosts, mm-hmm. and that account tagged Silver and Zeno, but left me out. Oh. I, I did that post. I didn't know if you wanted to be tagged or not. Asking does not cost any money. Mm. <laughs> uh, I, I've lost, I've lost, uh, I've lost uh, free advertisement for my personal Instagram account. Awful. So yeah, follow us on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, read our blog post. Uh, give us. I don't know how podcasts work on Spotify and Amazon. Uh, Five oh, stars or something. No one listens to it it's... there, so you're fine. Okay. So if you give us I a five-star review, we will read it out next time. 
Yes. Give us follow, yes. Uh, follow us on Vine. What? Follow us on LinkedIn. We don't have yes. a comment. Use the comments. Uh, and every message you can get to give us tips, critique, hopefully constructive, not Maxi sucks, get him out. Uh, That'd be great, actually. <laughs> no, 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 not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue. Follow us so, yeah. on Google+. Uh, Plus. Oh my god, no. you know Google+. Plus. That's I'm older than him. that young. I'm pretty sure it's older than you. <laughs> Okay, let's finish. Uh, I, I, Goodbye. I, 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 yeah, I hope you like the episode. <laughs> okay, Goodbye. it isn't. It isn't Goodbye. Fun. Bye. We'll see you at the Central European re- Review. Bye. Bye. Bye.